Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be doing a get ready with me video. I decided just to sit down and turn the camera on and just go ahead and do my makeup. Um, I'm also gonna be doing a talk through because my last talk through makeup tutorial that I did, you guys really enjoyed it. So I will be doing that as well. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So today I'm going to be using my Morphe, which is like disgusting, which I don't know how or why it got disgusting. There's dog hair all over it, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> So today I'm gonna to be using my Morphe 35O palette, with the, which this is what it looks like. Um, I actually got a, um, in one of my last videos, or one of my videos, um, someone commented asking if I could use this palette, and thankfully I got my hands on it, so I am going to be using this today in our tutorial. Um, I don't know what kind of look I'm going to do, honestly. Should I go smoky or simple? I'm gonna do more looks with this palette because seriously there's so many looks you can try out. I think I might do like a soft smoky eye. So let's go ahead and do that today. So first we're gonna be priming our eyes with my Urban Decay Potion Primer in Original. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Brow Bone Highlight first and I'm gonna take this shade all the way in the upper left hand corner. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> So I'm gonna put this down first as my brow bone highlight, get a lot of product on, and then blend it down. Same on the other side. First, I'm gonna go in with this Makeup Geek Soft Dome Brush. I'm gonna go with this shade right here, um, and that's gonna be our transition shade. So I'm gonna take some product, and put that right into our crease, going back and forth and going up and then in circular motions. Really making sure that this shadow is blended being that it is our transition shade. Thought I picked up the wrong color for a second. So getting that all over. It's a very nice light shade, so it's a really great um, base. So back and forth, bring it up, and then in circular motions. So next, I'm going to take my MAC 217. I'm gonna go into this shade right here, and I'm gonna put that right into our crease. So I'm gonna go in like this. going from outer to inner corner as again, like always, and blending up slightly. Perfecto. I feel so lost without my music on. It's like so quiet. Going back with my original brush that I used the first time and just blending that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into the MAC I think this is a 239 or 289, something like that. My, my, I've had it for seriously years, so the um, writing has come off. So for our base, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here at the bottom. It's like a nice brown, um, like a nice, really nice dark chocolate brown. So I'm gonna take this shade and put it all over our lid. If you wanted to make this even more, like a deep smoky eye, you could go in and put a base down. Um, but like I said, I want this to be a very nice kind of soft smoky eye. So I'm not gonna put a base down, but if you wanted it to be a really intense smoky eye, you can go ahead and put either a black or a brown base down and that will really um, deepen this look. We're gonna put this all over the lid and with this color, you don't wanna go above the crease at all. So just make sure you keep it right on the lid. Actually tap into the center color right here. Um, not so much for not a lot of product, but just tapping it right in and then getting the excess off. And then I'm going to put this right into the socket and go between the lid shade and our crease shade. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna blend, cause you see that harsh line? We of course don't want that. So we're gonna go ahead and blend these shadows into each other using that color. 
Go back into the palette and do the same over here. That same color in the palette. And just blend it. I'm gonna go back into that dark brown color just to deepen the color a little bit more because with blending it does take the color off. And then back with that brush and blend it again. I'm gonna go in now with my um, Tarte Skinny Smolder Eyes in Onyx and I'm going to tight line my upper waterline. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do winged liner. Um, being that I need to charge my camera a little bit more since I just used it on the first look and I didn't like it. I'm gonna do my eyeliner off camera um, so I can plug it in so that it can charge a little bit more. I will be doing an eyeliner tutorial for you guys very, very soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my winged eye. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and do my winged eyeliner and then I'll be right back. All right guys, so I went ahead and did my winged liner and as you can see, I also did my face. Um, I was planning on doing my face off camera anyway, but I just decided to go ahead and do it all now so then I can get into finishing up the eye tutorial for you guys. Really quick, I wanna let you guys know what I used on my face. Um, for primer, I used my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and my Smashbox um, Pore Minimizing Primer, which by the way, I was putting it on and I poked myself in the eye, so this eye is killing me right now, but that's besides the point. Then I use my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation, and my shade is medium three Stromboli. Um, for concealer, I use my Anastasia Cream Contour Kit. I use the orange to um, get rid of the dark circles, and then I mix it a little bit with the banana. And then on top of that, I went in with my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in NW20. And to set all of that, um, I went in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and set under my eyes with it. And then to set my face, I went in with my MAC Studio Fix um, Powder in NC40, which is this right here. And then I set my whole face with that. And then I also decided to go ahead and do my brows, um, which I used my Anastasia Brow Wiz in dark brown. And then I went in with my Brow Pro Palette. And for the inside of my brows, I used the Soft Brown. And then for the tail, I went with Dark Brown and Chocolate. So that is that. Um, I did my winged line, like I said. Um, I used my Inglot Gel Liner in number 77, like always. And then I also put a coat of mascara on my um, lashes as well to prep for false lashes, which is what we're gonna be doing right now. Today, I'm gonna go in with the Velour Lashes in the style Doll Me Up. One of my favorites, actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply. I'm gonna go ahead and apply these lashes. Dogs. I'm also gonna be applying with my Duo Eyelash Adhesive in the clear white. Oh my gosh, am I out of glue? No, okay, good, thank God. I do need some more glue though. Note to Ashley, you have to get more eyelash glue. We're gonna let it get tacky, which while I let it get tacky, Penny. Really quickly, I wanted to say that um, I want you guys to leave me some suggestions in the comments down below of other videos you would like for me to do because I feel like I've been doing a lot of makeup tutorials, which I love, but I also want to, um, I want to do some other kind of videos because I love doing the makeup tutorials and they're fun because, especially since I just started my channel um, about a month ago, I think it's been. Um, I like being able to share with you guys my makeup style and the kind of looks that I like to do. Um, so it's been really fun for me to do makeup tutorials and I have so many in mind that I want to do, but at the same time I kind of want to break it up a little bit and I don't know, but I don't know what kind of video to do next. So let me guys, let me, let me guys, <laughs> let me know in the comments down below um, from you guys some, some requests of some videos you like me to do if there's a tag video or whatever it is, um, let me know and I would love to do it for you. Here goes nothing. One lash on, and you can see the difference that they make. 
Love it. Ooh. Feeling gonna pass out. Okie dokie, I got my lashes on. Okay, so lashes are officially on. So before we go ahead and finish the eyes, I wanna go ahead and contour because I feel like I look like so flat. Ow, I just bit my tongue. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my Sigma Large Powder F30 brush and I'm gonna go into my only thing in this palette. This is the MAC Sculpting Powder in Shade Stir. And I'll be using this for our contour today. The chin and also bring it down the neck so that everything blends together. Now we're gonna go ahead and finish up the eyes. And before we go ahead and do the lower lash line, I'm actually going to um, um, add some more brown to the top because because of my hooded eyes, when, I, when you look at me like this, of course you can see the brown, but when I'm looking at you straight ahead, you can't really see the brown. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add some more. I always have to do this with smoky eyes. I always first apply it the way that I think looks good. But then once you put, and the, another thing is too, when you put on your lashes, everything always looks different. So I'm gonna go back with that MAC 217. I'm actually gonna tap just the slightest into that color, and I'm actually gonna start to blend it up so that you, when you're looking straight at me, then you'll be able to see it a little better. So you can see the difference. You can see it a lot better on this side than this side. So we're gonna do the same over here. And I was gonna add a pop of color on top, but I think I'm just gonna keep it like this because it's a really nice, soft, smoky eye. I'm just gonna really quickly go back with my original brush that I put my transition shade down and just blend. So now it, I feel like it looks a lot better because you're able to see that smokiness a lot better. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the lower lash line. I'm gonna go in with a pencil brush and again, I'm going to put down, I think I used this one, right? I'm gonna put this down as my base you're not really gonna see it, but it's gonna be the transition shade for the lower lash line. And then I'm actually gonna take a flat definer brush and go in now with that, um, let's just make it simple. Going with that same brown that we've used and put it on the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna go in with the shade in the center, not too much, and then we're gonna blend that out. Just so that, because we use this shade on our upper lid, it's gonna all go together when we add that shade. Back with that flat definer because it did take a lot of that brown off. I'm gonna go and reapply it. Blend it out again. Hi, Penny. So then I think we are done with the Morphe palette. Okay, so to finish up, I'm now gonna put that black eyeliner in my waterline. Put a coat of mascara on your lower lashes. So that is our eyes done. They're very nice and I think it's a really nice soft smoky eye. Okay, so now to put in the inner corner and also to finish up the face, I'm gonna be using today 
this beautiful palette from Becca Cosmetics. This is the Becca Champagne Glow Palette. I actually was lucky enough to have Becca send this to me, so thank you so much, Becca Cosmetics. I can't tell you how much this makes me happy. I, I love it so, so much. This is actually in stores on Sephora.com on um, October 27th, so you can go ahead and get this for yourself. It's a gorgeous palette, gorgeous? It's a gorgeous palette, as you can see. It has three highlighting shades in it. Over here, this one is called Pearl. This one in the center is Champagne Pop, and this one over here is Blushed Copper. So I love this palette, it's so gorgeous. So today I'm going to be actually doing a really intense inner corner. So I'm actually gonna be using this pearl. This is actually um, a new one of their highlighters. So I'm gonna use this as my inner corner highlight today. So pretty. And for my highlight, I use the Morphe M416. And then for my highlight, for my face, cheeks, everything, I'm gonna be using the Morphe M501. And I'm gonna be taking Champagne Pop, which is here in the center. We're gonna put this on our cheeks. On the forehead, the nose, Cupid bow and the chin. I think I'm actually gonna just mix a little bit of the pearl in, just so that it's even, I can be seen from outer space, you know what I mean? <laughs> yep, I'll be, I'll be seen, I'll be seen. To almost finish the look, for blush today, I'm gonna go in with MAC Buff, which is like my go-to blush. It's a really nice, um, gorgeous shade that can honestly be used in any makeup look. It can be smoky, it could be colorful, it could be just anything. As you can see, it's just such a neutral um, blush. So using a Sigma F10 powder blush brush. Bam. And then for lips today, I'm going with this combo. Um, this is my MAC um, lip liner in Soar. So I'm going to be lining my lips with this. By the way, the mailman just went up the street. So you shortly will be hearing Savannah come down here, barking at the mailman because she hates him. So viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> and then I kind of just put little slits in my lips as you can see. I also did that in my Kylie Jenner makeup tutorial and it just makes your lips look fuller. And then on top, I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia liquid lipstick in Pure Hollywood. This is really pretty on its own if you want to leave it just like this. I'm actually just going to dab just a little bit of um, lip gloss. This is a MAC underage lip gloss. Right in the center. guys so that is it for this makeup tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed it it's a really nice soft smoky eye which I really really love smoky eyes are like my favorite thing so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it like I said I will be definitely doing some more makeup tutorials using this palette because there's seriously so many looks you can do with this thing so let me know um, if there are any suggestions that you have when it comes to looks using this or whatever it is also like I said give me suggestions when it comes to other things you'd like me to do on my channel in the comments down below um, also make sure you like this video if you did and also make sure that you are subscribed to my channel i love you all and i'll see you see you in my next video bye